So if you have been keeping up with my community posts, you would see that one of my recent videos, Those That Died at Nagashino, was unfortunately age-restricted by YouTube. I tried to, of course, dispute this, but unfortunately, uh, YouTube upheld the age restriction, and I'm still not sure to this day um, why it was age restricted in the first place. I know that it, it does have some some blood and some you know a bit more graphic images that I'm I'm used to showing. There was some graphic old classical Japanese art, and of course, I showed some some uh, images from the Battle of Nagashino scene in the film Kagemusha. But there's really nothing there besides just samurai covered in blood. So I, I'm not entirely sure uh, why the video was age restricted, but I, I had an idea of how we could sort of make up for that. And it has to do with, of course, Nobunaga's ambition. The, the goal here in this video is we are going to play through the Battle of Nagashino as the Takeda and ensure that all the brave figures, all the Takeda leaders who I talked about in my video, those that died at Nagashino, we're going to make sure they all live. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to jump in to uh, Nobunaga's ambition in the year 1575 in the Battle of Nagashino scenario start date, and we're going to play through the battle and we're going to win it for Katsuyori and we're going to make sure that no one dies and that we, we rewrite history with, with this glorious Takeda triumph. So let's dive in. All right, to start off with, there is an event here talking about the death of Shingen. Shingen Takeda, called the Tiger of Kai, was the type of hero that graces the world once a century. After his death, the Takeda clan was taken over by a son born to his concubine, Lady Sua. Katsuyori Shiro Sua, known as Katsuyori Takeda, son to the tiger, he appeared to be expanding his territory as well as his father before him. However, the bare and mountainous land of Kai as well as the strength of the minor nobles in the land proved to be heavy shackles. Before the overwhelming economic power of the Oda clan, he faced the threat of being dragged into a war of attrition. Of course, now here is, is a bit more of dialogue between himself and the other uh, Takeda lords. To drag Nobunaga out onto the battlefield, we have to corner Ieyasu. There's no other way. That's why we surrounded Nagashino first. And if we do that, Nobunaga will come running, says Masakaga Yamagata. Which is exactly what we want. We'll have a repeat of the Battle of Mikatagahara, slay the Yoda, and raise our flag in Seta. Naito Masatoyo enters. Yet the Oda has twice our number in soldiers. Can we really defeat them as we are now? And then Baba Nobuharu. If we fail to crush them here, Nobunaga will invade Kai. With three, no, four times as many troops as us. Indeed, we have to win this battle while he only doubles our number. Defeat our enemies in a single battle and take their land. That is indeed the Takeda way, my lord. That's how we old-timers got our castles. It's the teaching of our past liege, too. However, those of the Takeda's kin do not all share the sentiment, I'd imagine. Indeed, it's painful not to be all on the same page at a time like this. Anayama and Nobukado. Not only do they think I can't match my father, but they think I can't measure up to Nobunaga. They want peace. Just what about me doesn't measure up to my father? I've won battle after battle with this poor land and I took Takatenjin, which my father couldn't. They have castles and people they need to protect. One cannot hold it against them for wishing for peace. I must protect the clan my father left behind, and in doing so, I'm keeping this ambition alive. We cannot simply bow at the feet of the Oda. As you say, my lord, our liege's ambition was to let our flag fly in Sita. However, convincing them of anything is a useless effort. If we manage to gather up a respectable force of troops, we should just take care of this ourselves. And then Sanada Masayuki is coming in now. Though I agree, my lord, I do have a suggestion to make. Masayuki, your older brother leads one of the Shinano tribes. Do you think he can bring us some troops? Not exactly, my lord. Yet, if we had Lord Kosaka's men... Masanobu's? Impossible. 
Not as long as he's in charge of keeping the Uesugi in check. We convince the Uesugi to stand down, just like during Mikatagahara. We can form a temporary peace between our clans. Back then we had the mediation of the Shogun himself. This time around, we can't go nearly as... Actually, he's onto something here, and I imagine you'll say you can pull it off. Being the son of Sir Yukitaka and all, correct? Very well, Masayuki. I leave that to you. I am honored, my lord. I shall ride to Nagashino at the side of Lord Kosaka on my honor. My lord, if you would hold for a moment, if we wish to make peace with the Uesugi, we must speak with the Hojo first. That is your role, is it not, Masakage? The older among us to clean up after our youths? Understood. Though I haven't collected quite as few years as you, Sir Nobuharu. I'm counting on you, everyone. We have to win this battle and show everyone that even if I cannot match my father, I can still measure up to Nobunaga. As could be seen from his name and birth, Katsuyori Takeda was not the true heir to the Takeda clan. Because of this, and the pressure on him to succeed, failure in battle was not an option. Alright, so we have the quest, the Battle of Nagashino. Katsuyori Takeda, who succeeded the hero of all time Shingen Takeda, challenges a decisive battle with Nobunaga Oda to gamble the future of the Takeda and to part with his late father. Do I proceed with the historical quest? Yes. Bring the Uesugi clan's reliance to 60. Alright. And bring the Hojo clan's reliance to 40. Perfect. Let's begin the council meeting. Alright. So, we have our work cut out for us. We have to clear up both our eastern flanks here to make it so that the lords both uh, guarding the borders will be able to come down and join us at the Battle of Nagashino. It seems easy enough. We simply have to raise our reliance with both clans here. In the north, we must make sure that the Uesugi are pacified so that Kosaka Masanobu and uh, Sanada Masayuki can march down and join us. And in the south here, we have to make sure the Hojo are on our side so that this flank is secure and that everyone is at ease. So, first things first, I'm going to turn on all of our markers here so I know what is going on. I see all the roads, I see all of the relations, and we get a clear idea of what needs to be done. So the Uesugi currently do not really trust us at all, although they're interested in working with us. While with the Hojo, uh, we have a score of 20 with them right now, we need to raise that as well. But they are already friendly with us, which is very good. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to start performing Diplomacy. I'm going to select the Uesugi and I'm going to appoint someone to work on improving my relations with them. This is all going to function very similar to how I did things for the winning at Yamazaki video I did a while back, where I had to increase relations there in order to have Mitsuhide win the Battle of Yamazaki. So first things first, we're going to look for someone who has a high politics score. If you see down here, it shows their political skill, and we want it to be high. I think right now Naito Masatoyo has a pretty good one, so I'm going to send him up there to deal with the Uesugi and to get them uh, to be a bit more friendly with us. Alright, now let's come down here and also work on the Hojo. The Hojo are already pretty friendly with us, but we need to raise it a little bit. It's not as dire as the Uesugi, so I don't need to find someone necessarily as good. Although if there is someone good, I'm going to take them. Oh, this guy's an 89. I should have sent, I should have sent him up, up north. I think I'm going to change that around, this guy. Uh, Ukubo Nagayasu. He's going to go up there because his political score is higher. Good. Go. And I'm going to send Masatoyo down here instead. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a province. I don't want to be managing all these castles myself. So I'm going to create a province. Actually, I'm going to... I should maybe create two provinces just to, just to balance things out. So up here... Let's see, Kaizu is manned by Kosaka Masanobu. I'm going to create a province up here where Kosaka Masanobu controls the area. We're going to uh, create a new province. We're going to select um, Kaizu Castle as its main base. We're going to select all these other bases here, including the ones over here in Kotsuke, as part of this province. And we're going to set Kosaka Masanobu as the regent, the lord of this, this province. Now... I'm going to also create a province down here, 
and we're going to give it all of these castles, and we are going to give it to uh, Nobukado as soon as I find him. There he is. Alright, so now the only land we really have direct control over is just Kai and Tsuruga, which is a massive load off of our, our shoulders. So the next thing we're going to do is just make sure that everything is sort of um, advancing properly, and we're going to listen to our advisors here. I'm also going to improve some of the roads around here as well, because with all the marching we're going to be doing through the mountains, I want to make sure that all the roads are up to par. I'm going to also embrace a policy here, the laws of the Takeda. So this is one that's exclusive to the Takeda, obviously. Officer loyalty and militia increase, deploying cavalry increases attack power. The only downside of it is that the development of crafts is slowed. It is more on the conservative side of the spectrum here. So far so good. We're just working on increasing things with the Uesugi. I think I can also give them a gift. Now, I don't remember if this will actually really increase anything, but I don't think it'll hurt not to necessarily give it to them either. So I'm going to give them this horse, Black Cloud. It's a fine horse, grade 2. Let's give it to Uesugi Kenshin and see what happens. Alright, so the horse has reached uh, the Uesugi. And Kenshin doesn't really like it that much. He said he'll take it, but it doesn't change much. O okay. Either way, our our uh, reliance on them is, is still going up, which is good. It just, it's, it's interesting to think about if Katsuyori had really taken the time and effort to, to really make sure all of his bases were covered before going on campaign against uh, the Oda and Tokugawa. Because here we are already in May. We're already, I think, around the time that the battle occurred, if I remember correctly. Yes, I just had to look it up again. The battle was fought in June. I know it was fought in, in the summer at some point. So we're, we're right around the point where the battle is about to have occurred. So we're going to probably go over a bit and not exactly go um, in line with, with when it historically happened. But uh, I think we'll still probably have it by the end of the year. And there it is. We have brought the Uesugi clan's reliance to 60 so we have completed that, that portion of the quest, and now we have to challenge the Oda army in a decisive battle. We're going to take our, our, our march orders here, we're going to set a plan to march. Everyone is going to be marching on Kakegawa. It really doesn't matter where we march, it's just that we are going to be marching. And as soon as that happens, all the armies are going to flood out, and the event should trigger. We'll execute the order. Alright. And with that, I'm going to end this turn, and the Battle of Nagashino should commence. Yep, there we go. So, Katsuyori. Actually, this isn't the Battle of Nagashino yet. This is just a dumb side quest. Let me just speed through this, because this, this is not important. This is not what I want. And here we go. This is the Battle of Nagashino. Inheriting his predecessor Shingen's path of conquest, Katsuyori Takeda led a large army into Mikawa and surrounded Nagashino Castle. This caused Ieyasu Tokugawa to request reinforcements from Nobunaga Oda, causing Nobunaga to personally lead a huge army to Shitaragahara. Shitaragahara was of course the, the plains at Nagashino where most of the battle happened. Thus the grand decisive battle Katsuyori had so dearly hoped for was about to begin. Alright, so here's, here's the, uh, the war camp the night before, where famously a lot of his generals tried to uh, persuade Katsuyori to leave and, and not engage in this battle. Still no word from Masayuki? Nothing further, my lord. All we've heard is that the matters have gone well. And simply, they need time to wrap things up. I see. So we're not getting those soldiers. Unfortunately, my lord, I'm afraid we'll have to fight with what we have. So I guess it sounds like um, the soldiers that they thought they would be getting from pacifying the borders uh, aren't arriving in time. According to our scouts, the Oda have constructed a stockade as sturdy looking as a fortress. Likely to slow our horses down. Perhaps Nobunaga is letting fear get to the better of him, or he has another plan up his sleeve. We cannot allow ourselves to fall in with his plan. Wait until the hail of bullets and arrows stop. Then we have our foot soldiers break that stockade down. Afterwards, our cavalry will pour into the enemy forces. Masakage, you'll be on the left with Nobuharu on the right. Outnumbered and forced to attack, we shall organize into crane formation. 
a normal crane formation would have our crane close its wings and cover our enemy. However, this crane will open its wings up, as if in flight. With the enemy drawn in by our wings, we'll crush them at the center. That is the aim of this crane. The next thing to consider is whether our kin in the center of our formation will move. I've given them some of my troops to make maneuvering the battlefield a little easier for them. Heh. <laughs> so that's why we seem to be lacking men in our main camp. My lord, your vow to Tateneshi if you would. Hmm. May you watch over us, Tateneshi. May you see our resolve. May you see our victory. This is later at night, I guess. Ginchiro. You think we'll lose this fight, don't you? Do not fight battles you cannot win. That is how our invincible Red Brigade operates. When our leash told us we would win the battle before us, it would set our mind at ease. We would believe in our absolute victory, and we would win, absolutely. And that role is now yours, Kenshiro. And yet, Masatoyo, at the end of the day, Lord Shiro is still the leader of the Takeda. He resembles our liege in his younger days so well, especially that pressured look he always wore. Indeed, hopefully Lord Shiro grows up to be like our liege one day. Reminiscing about the past, it feels just a bit like Sir Nobuharu and Masatoyu are searching for a place to die. Yet, I cannot let them die. Being in the Takeda without our liege is all the more reason for us to live. To live like we never have before. My liege... Watch over my battle, and the food in Kazan soon to fly over Sita. Hold an event battle? Yes. Here we are. This is the Battle of Nagashino. Shitaragahara, in the land of Mikawa. As the Takeda army advanced through the morning mist, a great stockade the Oda army had placed appeared before them. Now this appears to be a rather hardy stockade. Not to mention the size of their army. They must be 30,000 strong. Looks like we'd read this one wrong. They're so great in number. How could this be? So this is the great distance between Nobunaga and I. My victories were nothing but trivialities. Nobunaga had his eyes set on a much grander prize. And now, that difference in raw power is as clear as day before my clan and I. However, this is not a fight we cannot win. Reporting, my lord. The fort at Tobigasuyama has been attacked and captured by Taratsugu Sakai. Tobigasu's fallen. Then that means... Nagashino... The enemy troops came out of their castle, my lord. Our web around it has been broken. So we've lost our escape route then. Blast! Remember, we are all Takeda soldiers fighting here. None of us came with any intention of retreating. Your orders, my lord. You're right. I must gather my resolve. Everyone, we advance. Break through their stockade and draw first blood. Let the land know the might of the Takeda clan. Sir Masatoyo, Sir Nobuharu, you mustn't die out there. Heh. <laughs> so that's what you're worried about? I can't die. Not as long as the Takeda lives. Genshiro, just who do you think I am? You haven't forgotten they call me the immortal of Mino, have you? A pleasure to hear my fears are unfounded. With that. I, Masakage, shall ride in first. Men, follow the red! Baba Nobuharu rampages into the enemy stockades. Masakage Yamagata rampages into the enemy stockades. Let us begin. All right. So the battle lies before us here. So like he said, on the left is where Masakage is. So the way I'm going to do this is by coming around wide. I'm going to try and break down that tower there. I'm going to pull in Masatoyu from the rear as well to break down the rear tower. We'll take them from the side. Same idea on this side as well. There, and there. And if I remember correctly, there is more forces waiting for us on the right. So I'm going to slowly move Katsuyori's portion of the army up there as well, just to make sure we have things covered. And with that all set, let it begin. 
So right away on the left flank we're taking fire from Sakakibara Yasumasu. That's okay, we have enough men to deal with him. On the right flank we're taking fire from Sakuma Nobumori. Before I give any orders to any of my generals to uh, do any of their abilities, I want to make sure you have those towers knocked out first. Break down the tower, break down the tower. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to have him release all of his guns. Same thing over here, we're going to... I think we're going to concentrate. Concentrate fire. I'm going to move Katsuyori up as well. Nobuharu is confused, that is not good. But, well, I think we can pull through just fine anyway. And there goes Tarakatsu. Alright. Yamagata Masakage has broken through. Weaklings of Mikawa. Do the memories not revisit you when you see my face? The terror of the Red Cavalry, the terror of the Takeda clan? I, Masakage Yamagata, take the field. Remove yourself from my sight if you value your life. And there is Tokugawa Ieyasu. The Red Cavalry, and we can't stop them. We can't pull back. We're stopping them with every man we've got. Okay, so that's one part of the uh, mission accomplished. And there we go. Baba Nobuharu. The Oda's on the run. Everyone run them down. Tch. Damn Genshiro, playing considerate where he doesn't need to. With so many... With so much unnecessary help, I'll end up having to do my last service another day. And then here's uh, Takigawa Kazumasu, who's on the uh, Oda side. Sir Sakuma is having as much trouble against the immortal of Mino as I'd imagined. We ride to Sir Sakuma's aid. Follow me! Alright, so that's that portion of the battle done. However, in the Takeda main camp at Shitaragahara, a messenger returns. Sir Baba's unit has broken through the enemy's right wing, and Sir Yamagata's unit is also pushing back Tokugawa's formation. So the crane's wings have opened. Now, if we could just hit them with our beak. What are Anayama and Nobukado doing? Did you not tell them to strike the enemy's center with me? Well, my lord, I've sent messenger after messenger, but they keep saying they'd wish to keep watching for a while longer. Rubbish. We can't let this chance run from us. Do they fear for their lives that much? Is this all I can amount to? Having the mightiest of soldiers passed down to me from my father, yet being unable to use them? Is this all I can do? My lord, there appears to be a large army coming from behind. Damn, so Sakai is thrown up from Nagashino. It all ends here. I will ride into the enemy lines and die in glorious battle after showing them this tiger's pride. Wait, my lord, that's... Then Masayuki shows up. My lord, you need not die in battle. Masayuki, when did you arrive? A moment ago, my lord. I'd sent out a messenger in advance, but it seems he was captured around Nagashino. That aside... Sir Kosaka has 10,000 men to his name, and I've borrowed 5,000 from Kenshin. An army of this size should bring us to victory. So please, my lord, stand as the immovable mountain and watch our victory play out from your headquarters. That is the Takeda way. Very well. I'm, I'm glad you came, Masayuki. For all my failures, there are still those who are loyal to me. People are the castles and the stone walls indeed. Shitaragahara, in the middle of the Takeda army's formation. I, Masanobu Kosaka, have taken the field. Make way for a beast of war. Sir Kosaka, you've made it! I've been waiting, Masanobu. <laughs> this brings me back to Kawanakajima. Men of Kawanakajima, we have fought the near demons of the Uesugi army and Hondar might beyond any other. Let us show the weaklings of Mikawa and Owari what we are made of. So now the goal has changed to defeating Nobunaga. And there we go, there is Kosaka Masanobu and Sanada Masayuki. Okay, so first off, I'm going to make sure that Masanobu runs up and stops... Uh, Kazumasa Takigawa from dealing any more damage to my army on the right side. Same thing on the left side, I'm going to move up Masayuki. The goal now is just not to have Katsuyori die. 
Alright, there's Ieyasu. That's... Oh my, well, if it isn't Sir Ieyasu Tokugawa. It's been so long. Last time was at Mikatagahara, was it not? Do you still intend to fight even after you trusted your retainers to run off? Or have you finally decided to offer your head to me? Why? Why does such a small man look like such a giant on the battlefield? This... this is the Red Cavalry. If we continue to fight, this will turn to another disaster. Another Mikatagahara. Everyone, pull back! We're regrouping! So Ieyasu just retreated. <laughs> Great. Good. Everything's going as planned. Only thing we have to watch out for is where Nobunaga's actual unit is. I imagine it's somewhere in here, obviously. Kazumasu is uh, going down. Oh, Hideyoshi's running up close. My lord, messengers have come from lords Nobukimi Anayama and Nobukado Takeda. And what are they saying? That they will charge presently into the enemy formation. Send my thanks. Mercy is your ally and resentment is your foe indeed. A greenhorn like me cannot blame them. Well, it's about time. Okay, and there they are. They both showed up. Perfect. Alright, move them up. Okay, there's Nobunaga. Alright, alright. Now our only objective here is to just encircle Nobunaga and just shoot everything we have at him. Yeah, he was he was coming after Katsuyori. I think he still is. What is he doing? He's flailing. Yes, this is this is good. This is how the Battle of Nagashino should have gone. I might just charge Masanobu as soon as I have the opportunity because we have the numbers now. Now, go. There he goes. The charge is initiated. Crash. Oh, man. And they're confused, too. Oh, this is glorious. Glorious victory. You've defeated Nobunaga at Nagashino. My lord, congratulations on your victory. With this victory, we should gain the support of powerful groups in Mikawa and Totomi. Tokugawa won't be recovering anytime soon. Eventually, he will cut ties with Nobunaga and request a truce with us. Our road to the capital has opened. My lord, please use our flag from now on. The flag of Furin Kazan. Yet as a man of Sua, I have no right to use it. Was that part of my father's final order? And yet, my lord, you have become a man worthy of carrying our liege's ambition. A fact clear for all to see. I'm still far away from that. Far, far away. I was proud. Too proud. My continued victories made me think I was stronger. Bigger than I actually was. I tried to make everyone think the same. That pride led to our differences in soldiers. In how I viewed battle. Were it not for your efforts and Masayuki's plan, this land would have been where I died. That is not all. I let Nobunaga and Ieyasu go, and didn't manage to weed out the Oda soldiers. One must gain half a victory and seek greater things. A half win, my lord, breeds eagerness. Those, too, were my father's words. Eager and willingness to improve even after this victory, my lord. You truly are the liege of the Takeda clan. Furthermore, my lord, on the dawn of your arrival to the capital, you must use this flag. That, too, is what our liege wished. The capital, a place not even my father could march to. Do you think the likes of I am capable of such a feat? More than capable, my lord. This victory proves it. Masakage, I have to wonder why all your words always sound so convincing. Very well. From henceforth, I shall let fly the Fudin Kazan flag. And I will let it fly over Sita. I swear it. Everyone. I need your help. I. <laughs> Don't die till then, Masatoyo. Oh, I won't. Let's keep alive until that day. 
and keep the Takeda alive too. By eliminating the Oda Tokugawa army at Chitadagahara and capturing Nagashino Castle, the Takeda army opened the path into Mikawa. The castles on the fence in Totomi defected to the Takeda, and the Oda's failure drew Ieyasu Tokugawa's hesitation. Katsuyori was aiming for the capital, a feat not even Shingen managed. So the battle is now over, the quest is complete. Victory. I've gained the Fudin Kazan trait. Next step, unification. So I've gained the Red Cavalry trait. Let the nation know my might. So I've gained the Ogre trait. Let the nation know my might. So I've picked up the Adjutant trait. Nothing worth getting surprised over. So I've gained the Rearguard Master trait. Let the nation know my might. I've gained the Fear Not Death trait. Let this realm see my might. A messenger has come from the Tokugawa clan. Will you grant him an audience? Yes. So Tokugawa Ieyasu, for now, we must be patient. I submit. So Ieyasu wants to be my vassal. After the battle, it appears that the Oda can no longer protect him, so he has sided with us now. So look at that. We have gained all these castles, Nagashino, Inui, Kakegawa, I think we might have already had Koyama, I don't remember. But uh, Tokugawa now, with their five remaining castles, they are now our vassals. This is great. I'm gonna let the end of the turn play out here. We have a messenger from the Uesugi. They have accepted our uh, alliance offer as well. That's good. So as things stand, things are looking looking up. Let the end of this turn roll out. Perfect. And it is fall, so still Oh, hang on. So Ieyasu says, can you accept my daughter as your ward to strengthen our bond? So he's giving me one of his daughters. Okay, sure. So yeah, this is this is sort of where things stand now after the Takeda won the Battle of Nagashino. We have a very cushiony position. I do want to see, though. I want to go and check um, what is the uh, Fudin Kazan trait. What does it do? Units' abilities increase and defense greatly increased. Okay, that's good. This is where you could continue. I have tried this this in the past, and of course I've gotten to this point. The thing about this now that makes it quite difficult, and probably one of the most difficult positions to be in still, even after winning, is that all these castles that the Oda have are very uh, upgraded. Um, I know you can't see it now because they haven't been scouted, but once these get scouted, they, they have very large garrisons, they have, they're, they're very, um, very strong in terms of their fortifications. It is, it is quite the slog to try to work your way through all these castles and get to Kyoto. Not impossible, but very, very difficult, and you, you really need to know what, what you're doing and be on the ball. Um, you can, afford, of course, form a coalition, but coalitions, I think, work the best when you have all the clans bordering... Um, the target uh, in, that are strong enough to actually challenge the target, which right now none of the other clans bordering the Oda are necessarily that strong. Um, once the Mori and the, and the Oda were to go to war, that would change things. That would, that would also be very beneficial to us and help us in our own march against the Oda. But as you saw, that is the Battle of Nagashino, but instead one for Katsuyori, one for the Takeda, and all of the brave figures who I talked about giving their lives in my Those That Died at Nagashino video have survived. They live on and they will serve Katsuyori with renewed faith as they press on towards Kyoto. This is a very fun, fun uh, start date and like I said, it'd be very interesting to continue. In fact, I might continue it on my own and see how it goes, but, but this is really what I wanted to show. So, uh, if you haven't already, go check out that Those That Died at Nagashino video to get the reality of what happened. I've made several videos uh, on the topic of the Battle of Nagashino now. My best one I've done so far has been the, the Those That Died at Nagashino video, but of course that one has gotten age-restricted. So if you're going to watch it, make sure you are signed in so you don't have to deal with, with it blocking you out of it. But yeah. Also, I have made a couple other Nobunaga's Ambition videos that you may want to check out, including the one where I played as Akechi Mitsuhide and one at the Battle of Yamazaki. 
I of course want to do more Nobunaga's Ambition videos. I, I love Nobunaga's Ambition, the Sphere of Influence, and in the future I will be doing more of them, as I just said. Anyways, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of me reading all the dialogue and everything. I'm really curious to know how this all looks after it's all edited and put out there uh, myself. Um, and yeah. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you enjoyed this video and found it to be most interesting.